everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com using time-honored techniques to understand modern markets featuring daily technical analysis videos of the S&P 500 index. Uh, it is after the close on April 17th, tax day. Hope you got your taxes in or, or you, at least you filed for an extension. Uh, before we take a look at the charts, just need to remind you once again that the, the website and this video are for educational purposes only and uh, nothing stated at the site or in this video is intended to be used as investment advice. I control lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I am not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy that draws lines on charts. So here we are looking at a 10-minute chart. Yesterday at the close, I mentioned <coughs> that we had a little pattern here it looked sort of like it might be a bull flag setting up an upwards move. But I, but if you looked at yesterday's video, you would also know that I did not have a strong sense that we would get an upwards move. Because I still think this market needs to come back down and test some key support levels. It's just refusing to do it. And, you know, I, I don't want to sound overly bearish because... You know the markets can sometimes take a, take on a life of their own and do things that nobody would ever expect. And we are in the area where such a move as that is probably more likely than if we had been down uh, in the thousands or 1100s a year and a half or two years ago. Why do I say that? Well, I say that because I get this sneaking suspicion that all of this putting off of tests of support is due to, uh, shall we say, due to undisciplined traders coming in, chasing every little move, and I suspect that this leg up that we are now in and that we may very well continue in for a while is one that's being built on uh, on on sand okay again I don't want to come across as being overly bearish I'm not really what I'm saying though is that you know you you, you talk to these Elliott wave people and I'm not I'm not an Elliott waver but uh, there are certainly some things that are interesting about Elliott wave theory. And one of those things is, is that, it's, is that um, uh, primary trends tend to take place in, in five waves. And uh, guys, I know a lot of you are real students of, of probably of Elliott wave. And I, I, I'm going to show my ignorance here. I, I read charts, but I'm not into the Elliott wave subwave subpart paragraph wave two of, of the of the minute wave and and the end of a western civilization occurred according to the charts in uh 2000 when the nasdaq got over 5000 i'm not into that okay but there are some interesting things that are um in wave theory and one of those things is is that sometimes when you get that wave five you get it extended and if you think about it, why would that be? Well, it could be because wave five is when all the amateurs get involved. You know, you get you get a nice, uh, uh, you get panic selling at a bottom. That's when the amateurs get out. Then you get uh, a nice orderly advance for up up one, and then you get a corrective trend, uh, and then you get another wave up, and then you get a corrective trend, and then then that last wave up is when a lot of people go, hey hey hey, this is a bull market and so they start running into it they start chasing it and all I can figure is we keep getting these broken trend lines but no back test okay I would expect a back test here we didn't get it I would expect a back test uh, of this uh, blue line that I've been looking at for ages expecting a back test down to this line right here we haven't gotten it, and I suspect that the reason is there's a lot of 
chasing going on, okay? Um, <laughs> if that is the case, then all we can do is try to read it the best we can and be careful because chasing is not a good thing and those that chase usually end up getting hurt. So if the herd is chasing, the question then becomes, should we? And I personally am not. I'm, I would rather wait for something of a little bit better quality to roll along than to chase. Now, where we stand right now is we had this triple top right here. That broke down. That uh, uh, level down here around 1368 satisfied the minimum requirement of that triple top. Okay, that is the, that is the minimum expected downside move that got, that got over with within two days of, the, of this neckline breaking. It looks to me like the market both wants to come up and test this neckline, but it also feels like it probably has some unfinished business down here. And I kind of agree with that. I think there's some unfinished business down here that needs to be taken care of. Now, we do have two areas of support that I will show you. We've got this level right here. You know, I'm going to kill this black line right here. We don't need to be worrying about that anymore. Kill this too. These probably don't have much bearing on today. So, we've uh, uh, <coughs> weeded out some unnecessary lines. So where is where do I see uh, support? Well, I would see support at uh, at this purple line down here in the 1340s, and I also would see support at this blue line down here in the 1320s. That's a little bit longer term support. If we look at things uh, for the way they've been trading over the past week and a half, we also might get some support on this rising line right here. If this, uh, hold on, let me change that color. We're going to make that dark blue. Here we go. So what it looks like is that we have we were kind of trading in between this pattern here. We got something of a breakout over this top line right here. And I really did not think that was going to happen. I thought we could get up to that today, but then we would come back down and then probably take out this bottom line and then come down to this level here. Turning this whole thing in between the dark blue lines here into a fairly uh, large, as far as tall, basically making it something of a bare flag. But now I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we may be setting up for a tag up here just a little over 1400. If that happens, this, this should be resistance. This line right here could provide some very weak support at this point. The breakout over this line was not strong enough for me to say, yeah, that's a breakout. Okay. Uh, and plus, you know, we got some things going on with a couple stocks in particular that have a tendency to, to skew the indexes just a little bit. We, we've seen that with Apple. You know, uh, Apple just has way too much cloud in the indexes. And, and Apple kind of has a life of its own. So with Apple being up about 5% today, I think we owe a lot of this, a lot of the gains in the market, probably just to, uh, to the nation of Apple. Um, I, I hear that Apple has more cash than the U.S. government. So <laughs> good for them, bad for us. So anyway, look, that's, that's kind of the chart for today. It's a little bit of uh, getting a little bit out of shape. But um, if, we, if we sell back down, I would expect uh, probably a bounce on this line. But if this line breaks, then we look at the height of this pattern, and it looks like we would be setting up for something in the 1340s. If, if this market continues to rally on up, then I don't think it's, it's going to get above this neckline. Uh, at least not right away. Eventually, I believe it will, but I don't think I don't think that's in the immediate future. So look, guys, 
I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch this uh, video. I wish I had a little bit more interesting news for you, but I don't. We're just kind of in this middle ground area here after a strong move up that really doesn't look like it has as much basis in the technicals as I would like for it to have. And for those of you who have watched all of this video and have not turned it off yet, now that I've brought up the little ending um, title page, what a weird day for me. The markets were up one and a half, two percent. I was flat. I was absolutely flat for the day. So look, it happens to the best of us. Take care, and there will be another video tomorrow coming, coming your way from uh, Manhattan in New York City where I'm... Uh, shooting a job for one of my clients in uh, down near Fifth Avenue. So look, take care. Thanks for watching.